Welcome to the Getting Started video for your iHouse Elite website. We'll do a brief introduction to a few things to help get you familiar with your website. This will range from where to log in as an admin, how to view your website, how to enter the editing mode of your website, and a brief tour of the back end. And with that, let's take a look at our first topic, how to log into your admin menu. On the homepage of your website, if you scroll down to the footer, you'll see a link for admin menu seen here. If you give that a click, that'll take you to the admin login screen. Alternatively, you can also visit iHouseWeb.com and choose Login. This button found right up here. From here, you'll want to type in your admin email and admin password and then press Login. And after you log in, you should arrive here at the dashboard. From here, you can see your quick links where you can view and edit your website. By clicking view your website, you will see the as is of your website. Alternatively, from that quick menu, if you click edit your website, you'll be taken to the editing version of your website. You'll be able to tell you're in the editing version of the website by this blue editing bar found at the top of the screen. And if you'd like to, you can change the default template for your website found up here in the top left. When choosing a template, don't worry too much about the color or the branding, as these can all be changed and even filtered by. So if you see something you like as far as a template goes, focus more on the composition of the content rather than the color or the branding, as these can all be changed later. As a quick example, we'll change our template. And with that, the template of our website is changed. Well, let's say we liked our previous template more. We can revert back to our previous template by returning to the template tab and then reselecting the same template we had previously. And just like that, the template is returned to as it was. If you'd ever like us to take care of these changes for you, please do reach out and let us know. Our team would be more than happy to help you. To return to your dashboard, you can click the house icon found in the top left. With that, you're back to your dashboard. And from here, let's take a quick tour of the back end of the website, which is composed of three main areas, website admin, account, and turbo leads. You'll always be able to tell which of these three you're in as it'll be indicated in the top left of your screen. The dashboard itself lives under our first website area called website admin. And after dashboard, our next section is settings. Here you'll find branding where you can control the branding that's displayed for your website, search restrictions, which will limit the types of searches people can do on your website, search defaults, which will set the default for those searches, listing display, which will control the defaults for how listings are displayed, featured locations, your area of specializations, house track emails, which are reminders sent to contacts that have saved listings, visitor registration, accessibility, and spam. That might feel like a ton of content, but don't worry, this is just a brief intro and overview of these features. If you'd like more info on anything listed, we'll have more specific videos on these items in our channel. Or feel free to reach out to our team. Again, we'd be more than happy to help you with any of these if you have questions or if you'd like us to take care of it for you. Our next section is going to be integration. This is where you can manage third-party integrations for things like social media sign-in, social links, as well as an extra code section if desired. And after that, you'll find the section for domains where you can manage the domain or the URL of your website. And after that, we have a section for blogs for managing the blog posts for your website. And after that, we have traffic where you can track the traffic coming to your website and where it's coming from. And after that, we have SEO, which is short for search engine optimization, a section for best practices to help people find your website. Next, you'll see some familiar links for edit your website and view your website from quick links. Those are also found here. And below that, you'll find listings where you can manage your personal listings. And our last item under website admin files, where images and other files that are used on your website are stored. And that concludes our intro to website admin. Let's take a look at our next area, account, seen here. You'll be able to tell you're in the account section of the website as it'll be reflected in the top left, seen here. Where website admin was more about changing the content of the website, Account is more about changing the account settings for the website. From here, you'll find options like Profile, Package, and Billing. Profile will let you edit the information that is displayed about you on the website. Package will let you edit the type of package that you have with us. And Billing, where you can manage your payment method. If you'd like to edit your profile, you can click on Go to Profile, 
And then from here, you'll see the options to verify email and verify phone, as well as change password. But if you'd like to change the details about your profile, you can do so by clicking the pencil icon found on the top right here. From here, you'll also find the options to change your profile picture, signature, and contact information. And that concludes our basic intro to account, where you manage things like profile, package, and billing. Let's go take a look at our third website area, Turbo Leads, where you manage your contacts, found here. And just like our earlier two website areas, website admin and account, you'll know you're over to TurboLeads as it'll be reflected in the top left, shown here. And if this is your first time logging into TurboLeads, or if there's still steps remaining to set up your profile, you may get a getting started box at the top of your screen. That'll walk you through the remaining steps to finish setting up your TurboLeads profile. And as for items found under TurboLeads, the first one we'll take a look at is pipeline, where you'll see new contacts coming into your website, schedule, where you'll be able to see scheduled events you may have set up, Contacts, which will be all of your contacts that you can filter by, but you'll also have the option to see the source of that lead. That'll be listed there. Our next item is reports, tracking your communication with contacts. And lastly, settings, which is the specific settings for Turbo Leads. And that concludes our brief introduction to Turbo Leads and the items found in it. If you want to return to one of our other website areas, such as website admin, you can click here. That'll return you back to our dashboard, bringing us full circle. So that's our brief introduction to website admin, account, and turbo leads. If you're all set from here, you can go ahead and log out of your profile by clicking your icon up there in the top right, and then the option for log out, that'll return you to the admin login screen. If you'd like to learn more, please feel free to check out our other videos on our channel. Subscribing to our channel will get you updates and tutorials about our newest features and improvements as they're released. Most importantly, if you still need help or just have questions, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to help you. Give our Elite Service Team a call at 866-645-7700. We're open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time.